Um, welcome to WC Nix. Uh, live modern with Martin. Yeah, finishing off the water diorama. Uh, we've got a few in. We've been talking to a couple of people. So I've just made uh, RGG trains, Grace and um, uh, and Rob, uh, moderator. So welcome to the madhouse. I'm sorry. I'm just about to turn my phone on silent. No, my watch on silent. Because uh, otherwise it'll ping all the way through it. Welcome everybody. How are, hope we are well. You know what I mean. Let's have a let's scroll down to the bottom. Um, I don't need to see my ugly face, so I can see Brian's in from. I can't tag as uh, not on the computer. Okay, that's fine. You're watching on the on the uh, on the on your phones and watches and not watches. Can you watch YouTube on your watch? Probably somewhere and somebody can, I suppose. Uh, good morning, everybody that's already commenting. Yeah, uh, well, we won't be in a mug. Oh, I got, yeah, I got. So I'll show you something later on, so. <laughs> uh, right, um, yes, welcome, morning. I've said that about 10 times now, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm get gonna on with it. Get on with it, yeah, Steve's in, Steve's in the house. Why is Steve in the house? Boy, no! <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, right, okay. So, um, Martin with Martin. Yeah. MWM. Yeah, I'm, I'm hashtagging that out. Uh, uh, what I call it? No WW mug today, only the one I'm drinking my coffee out of. Morning, Dave. Yeah, okay. Uh, water diorama finish off. I am mega happy with it, with it right? You know what I mean? Uh, very little bubbles, if, if any, right? You know what I mean? So, and, I, and you're going to go through, there's a couple of comments to be fair. Uh, a couple of guys have said, I mentioned that they are quick, uh, they, um, uh, uh, the, the methods that I do is a little bit faster than what I did and, you know what I mean, so on and so forth. And I, I'll explain uh, as we go through, you know what I mean, uh, what a couple of guys said, mentioned, which is, you know what I mean, fair comment. Uh, but I'm mega happy with it, um, although... Uh, I haven't learned the lesson, yeah, and I'll show you later on, yeah, you know what I mean, so, um, hello, Kel, nice to see you, i bother with Martin, so Kel is a big support of us, been there for, you know what I mean, from, right from the start, near enough, so, um, uh, so, yeah, I, what can I, I, I learned a couple of lessons again, I'm going to show you, because i got to do a little bit more work on it, but, it, it, you know what I mean, it, it is what it is, like, you know what I mean. So, and I might not be able to repair fully, uh, but what I've done in mistakes on here, I can teach you guys not to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, welcome in. How many have we got in, Steve? Do you know? I, yeah, we got sixteen. Joined sixteen. Up I can so see. Far. I can see it on the bottom down there. Right? Yeah. So um, right, a couple of bit more news going on. Uh, the competition, yeah, that uh, Craig Sam and. Um, and Dave is a, a part of now, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, first and foremost, please make sure you read uh, the competition rules, okay, right? Because that's imperative that you read them, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, otherwise, I don't want anybody to get disqualified at the, at the beginning and stuff. Um, uh, it's a really tough one, and now you know why I did the water, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's a real tough one. So... Um, uh, but I've always wanted to do this one, you know what I mean? Because uh, I, I, I genuinely feel that, uh, you know what I mean, there's going to be some top, top modelling going on there, right, you know what I mean? But don't be scared of it either, yeah, you know what I mean? Have a go of it, because like I showed you on here, how basic and how easy it is to do, right, okay? Uh, don't be scared of water, that's the... And, and, and if you get a water on your diorama, stroke, um, layout, model, whatever you want, Oh my God! It, it totally try. It actually it, it makes it look it pops, yeah. You know what I mean? And and like I said, if you don't um, put any water, any coloring into the into the resin, it really enhances the bottom. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, it, it literally go for it. Um, there is another motive for why I've asked for reflections as well, so that we can use some of your photos because you know one of the things when you do put, go onto the Facebook group that you put on there that uh, you give us. Uh, permission to use them yeah you know what I mean uh, Craig is in morning Craig uh, so and we should be uh, we're gonna try and use them for our social media yeah you know what I mean to show show off what you guys can do um, and maybe put them on our product product page in as well you know what I mean so um, yeah that could be really 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 good you know what I mean um, 
but yeah, we'll get get stuck into that competition. I'm telling you now, you're going to thoroughly enjoy it, and then it should give you the uh, the confidence then to do it on your layout. I know uh, Grace and Rob have said that you've got a massive area to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. But again, don't be frightened by it. Like you know what I mean, use it, use use the uh, uh, use the water that's going on. The prize that's going to come out, I haven't even thought about the prizes yet. Yeah, you know what I mean. You do get a couple of people saying, oh, what's the prizes and stuff like that. I, we're not, I don't do it. I, we run the competitions, right? I put a prize on there just so you guys can get a reward at the end of it. But at the end of the day, it's a bit of fun. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I try to put out a good prize as well. You know what I mean. But I hope that you guys are not in it for the prizes, that you're in it for, you know what I mean. You're in it for the, for the fun of it, like, you know what I mean. So... <laughs> What are, you, what are you laughing at now? I'm ready for the prize. Yeah, oh, he's in it for the, Yeah, you will, you will never win. Anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> However, yeah, I think the, it's gone viral. Yeah, uh, um, to be fair to create, uh, no, uh, Dave, yeah, right, it's gone viral. Um, uh, the WWS mug, right? And I, I said last week that I said that we maybe we need to get some printed uh, with like winners of, uh, of the competition. So that's something I might look into later on. Like that's Steve here, he should be listening to this. And, and you know, I mean, that's his job. He I'm a bit of sheep. Yeah, you know, I mean, he should be able to get, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm a WWS, um, Dira, a WWS Facebook winner or something like that. That's yeah. what we should have. I think that's be quite good, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've done mystery boxes. That's what I've done as well. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's up to you then if you want to put them on there, right? But I've done mystery boxes. So that's when Dave had a mystery box as well. But the mugs, yes. Yeah. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, you know, I mean, nice little white box I'm showing Steve over the, the thing. Pretty oh, nice really? white box. There's nothing in it. But no, there is. <laughs> there they are. Right. www.scenics.com mug. Where's yeah. mine? Yeah, you know what I'm what? You not you haven't earned it yet. <laughs> You're gonna make me at least five million pounds again. <laughs> yeah, there it is. These guys, you guys are far more important than Steve. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Steve is not Steve's got an old tin cup. <laughs> yeah. The dog's tin cup. <laughs> the dog's tin cup, right? And we give him that one because he can't smash it. So <laughs> yeah. Calamity Jane comes to mind with Steve, right? You know what I mean he, literally he's got two left feet, I'm sure he has, right? You know what I mean? But here's the mug. Here it is, right? Okay. Um you know, this one, I'll, I'll sign the box. Shall, shall I sign the box as well? You know what I mean? So, and so you've got a signature of me. It's not, you know, not important. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? There is the mug. If you win the competition, right, uh, we'll, we'll throw one of these in as well. It's, I didn't even know they were that important, but obviously you guys are, you know what I mean? You've all gone poor Steve. Don't go poor Steve, Dave. Yeah, oh, he's as bad as Craig. Where's, where's Dave? <laughs> Dave is a, Dave is our admin on the on the group. Dave thank, thank you, Dave. Yeah, uh, yeah. Don't, Dave. Don't, don't go there. Don't stop it. I got a new friend. Yeah, I know you have. Like, trust me. <laughs> yeah, to put a photo of yourself, you soon oh, realise no. what Dave is like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll sign it there. We'll, we'll sign it as well. Like in the mean. So there's the mug. Uh, I don't want a mug. I want the t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know you've been what after that. You want, you've been after the t-shirt for the, the, a green t-shirt. For years you've been nagging me. A green one? Yeah, I got. I had a green, green uh, um, WWS one. Um, I want to call it, and Cal fell in love with it. So I need to make sure that we, we'll get you one one day, right? Okay, you know what I mean? If I, yeah. you have to keep nagging me, right? Um, but I keep holding this mug. So that, yeah, so, you know what I mean? You're going to get, so the winner is going to get a WWS mug and then you've got to go and put it everywhere. Yeah, you have to take a photo and say, and all the groups, all the famous groups that you're on, and take a photo of it and say, I am a WWS winner. But I'm definitely going to get, I think I'm going to, definitely going to get some uh, mugs for the competitions, I think. Yeah, you know what I mean? For, um, I'm a WWS Facebook, or a WWS competition winner. Yeah, you know what I mean? That'd be good. You know what I mean? Because uh, I still think people would, uh, uh, I still think purple would just shut up purple no purple <laughs> i don't like purple <laughs> i saw i said shut up then i do i thought it was david said it, not the not the uh, uh, pink, pink is mine blue now like like lovely blue look at that yeah you know what i mean we got the progress layering system but there yeah and the wwc nix as well like you know what i mean so well, I can, oh, they've got a bromance going on now. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, sorry, Craig. Yeah, you think Dave's dumped you now. It's Steve and, it's Steve and Dave now. Oh, you know what I mean? Because Craig is going on holiday today. Yeah, you know what I mean? So enjoy, mate. Have a nice holiday. Uh, I know we're all sort of tuned in to have a, to watch the model. Yeah, you know what I mean? But we're going to have a chat first, and we? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, have a crack. You have a crack and stuff. Um, 
As well, I'm just trying to think of whether someone else of oh, the competition's running. I put the link for the we've got the clearance on at the moment as well. Oh yeah, there's a clearance going on. We try to masses and tufts and stuff. Yeah, like to be fair, we are we are cutting our products like you won't believe. We 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 went um, as a company went way higher. You know, what I mean, we just went make loads of stuff, um, and now it's sort of coming on a bit us on the bum. So we know um, I'm now ruthlessly cutting stuff. Yeah, sure. you know what I mean. So. Uh, uh, we were no longer friends, but <laughs> if you don't like purple, <laughs> we did. <laughs> Steve likes purple. I don't. Oh, oh, black. That, that looks purple, but it's blue on on my camera. But it's blue. Trust me. I'm a blue. I'm a green. I I, I mean I'm ex. You know I mean I'm a I'm a veteran. So. Oh, I have, you know what I mean? Go. During the war, I don't. Oh, you know I mean? Uncle green. Yeah, it's only because he hasn't done anything in his life. That's why he's saying that. We're back in Ireland again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah. So a green is my. I look good in green. Like, you know what I mean? So Cal will stand up for that one. You Cal, I look really good in green. So, <laughs> um, anything else, guys? Got any questions for me before we crack on? Uh, the water. Don't forget we got the shows coming at the end of this oh, month. Oh yes. Shows. There, so there's the model live modeling live at the, uh, the NEC, uh, which is Homeby Magazines. Um, new one so we're at that yeah that's going to be exciting because we've never done obviously it's a brand new show um we've taken the mic we've got new 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 products or the new canister labels that type of thing morning jess the color shirt ranking system pink in management purple for the death for the plebs <laughs> steve being pleb being purple <laughs> I am not. You gave me Tell him about bromance is Yeah, off. bromance has gone out the window. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's green is better. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, let's have a slurp of coffee, actually. A cup of coffee time. Right. Normally, remember, I used to have Dean coming in at 11 o'clock or, or come to, to bring my Levensies. So. Yes, I remember. Steve doesn't do that. No, you won't have nothing off me. Yeah. No. Well, that's fighting talk, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I'm reading the comments as we go along. We're 21 people coming in as well. That's brilliant. You know what I mean? We, we topped 44 last no, time. 46 was the top 46 figure. last time, so yeah, fantastic. So we've got people coming in. I mean, 46 people during the day, that's, you know I mean, on a live, that's fantastic. Yeah. Right? I mean, and then people watch it, great work at it. Yeah, it's all for my hours, you know that, you know what I mean, I'm plebbing it out for my hours, you guys know it, we are monetised, but, well, you know, we've got a couple yeah. hundred quid if that. It's for Martin's retirement fund, so you being <laughs> selfish. And we, we put it back by, by, you know I mean, by buying mugs and stuff like that, you know what I mean, so we put back, we uh, we put it back to you guys, because, you know I mean, uh, I, I'm definitely going to get that designed, yeah, definitely, gonna, I, I really want, uh, I'm a W, because that, that'll be chuffed, that was, because any time you take a photo, then you can have a tip photo of your mug. And say what well, maybe we'll send out to to the guys that's that already won it. I was going to do a comp um, uh, a league system, yeah, and have a WWF Phoenix Cup. Um, you know what I mean? So for, for, for competitions and uh, head uh, uh, winning the head of head of uh, thing yeah. that Dave runs. You know what I mean? And then maybe have a Champions of Champions Cup at the end of it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so Steve's no, like, whoa, yeah. but uh, it's a lot of head work, and I'm pretty sure that there's only one person that can. I can monitor that for us, and that's Dave. <laughs> so well done, Dave. We just volunteered for that. I don't know. You know, I mean, I think we'll stick with the uh, uh, with the mug. I think. I, I think know. Dave's got something going really well with that to say that um, uh, work at, at, about the mug, and everybody sort of jumped on it. Like, I mean, so I think we found our thing. I'll add more to to the prize, not just a mug. You know, what I mean, so uh, yeah. What if folks just to drop in while well, I've uh, got a minute at work? Yeah, yeah, thank you, did, yeah Howard's supposed to be working as usual. Yeah, don't yeah. get a sack of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he, he does little more than me, you know. I mean, I do hardly <laughs> anything. That's impossible. <laughs> uh, sorry, no, he works really hard, I'm pretty sure. Like, I mean, 45 watching during the day and uh, and one at night. Oh, yeah, he's the Aussie chap. He's the Aussie chap, yeah. You know what I mean? He's our. Uh, he's on the Barbie and seeking some fosters. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry, I do apologise for him. The, That's my good old for the accent. pleb in the corner. Yeah, that was that was a valiant. More than a Martin bubblehead. <laughs> I have no idea where that come from. Anyway, no, so uh, right, okay, let's go into it a little bit then. Okay, um, like I said, we yes, last year, last week, um, I did the, the the water pour. Yeah, and already built up uh, the uh, the diorama. I used tape. Uh, to do it right um and it worked it didn't leak right no leaks at all which i was quite i was well chuffed with right okay um uh so tape is good however 
and I'll show you an example. I'll show you a reason why uh, I'm explaining this. Make sure that when you stick it on, you put uh, tape over the sticky. Now I didn't do that all the way, and now I'm paying for it because I got to scrape it off uh, because it's literally stuck to the worker, stuck to the resin when it's uh, when it dried. Uh, but if you put a uh, put a get rid of all the sticky side, yeah, by putting another sheet across, like um, you know, I mean, um, sort of like if that's the sticky side. Yeah, you know what I mean, just put that like that, so that is not non-sticky. Uh, where the resin's gonna go, then it'll come off quite nice. Which you've done one side, it's okay. It's got a little bit of a line, right? But we can sand it back. But I'm gonna keep the line there, yeah, you know what I mean? Because um, then I can explain then if I take it to shows, oh, this is what I've done. Uh, and then my mistakes is coming over to your, uh, coming over to you, so you guys can do it. So I've started peeling off the other side, um, and it's, stuck so i've got a lot of work on that one to do so i'm going to just show you you know i mean sanding down what you do to get rid of the edge and then um i'll do a tiny little pour just to to um what i call it highlight sorry to reinvigorate the um the resin on one side and i just show you that you just literally paint it on or or use a, a spatula or something like that to paint it on uh somebody said on youtube there's a question on youtube uh or or, or also suggestions that they say sorry I should have looked up before I came on to see what was the name um, I forget but if you look at the last comments on the last uh, video you'll see it but they used a sort of a, a vacuum system right okay and just used a um, hoover and something they got from Lidl's I think or something like that and they used that to vacuum up the bubbles right okay if, guy, if you're on there mate uh, make yourself known yeah you know what I mean uh, which is great you know what I mean we got a va we got a, a vacuum pump yeah, you know what I mean, that we use for all our figures that we sell on, on uh, wall gaming. Yeah, you know what I mean, so, I mean, we've got a big proper one, which you know, it does all sorts of wonderful things. That, you know what I mean, it, it's fun to watch when you're doing uh, the rubber to get the, like, because it goes up like that and then just, boom, falls. And it's really impressive when you see it the first time. Uh, it got over, but go oh, good, thanks for asking, buddy. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, there's conversations going on I don't, um, I'm not a part of, so it doesn't need to. Uh, have the business settling well at the new location. I'll answer you in a minute, Jess. Yeah, well, we, we're a year and a half into, so anyway, so I'll, I'll answer that in a, in a bit. I make it. Um, we, uh, yes, that is a system you can use, it quick it speeds it up. Uh, you know, what I mean, but if you if you haven't got that sort of knowledge and you haven't got that uh, that technique, then I have literally literally took my time on that. I didn't even use the blowtorch or didn't use, I, I mean, I put the hairdryer on it, but it didn't work. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I, I literally, you could see me, I was there for about 10 minutes mixing it up. Nice and slow, nice and gentle. Yeah, um, I got rid of the bubbles uh, using the spatula. Yeah, if you remember, you know what I mean? I was just literally, uh, well, got a while. let me get change camera angle so you can guys see it a bit. Uh, okay, I literally yeah, used the spatula to sort of drag the bubbles out. And you can clearly see, yeah, gone off. Nice, nice, well, uh, uh, nice and well hardly any bubbles now guys i know you're not going to see it on camera right you know what i mean but generally that is yeah you know what i mean you can see you know, the reflection on it yeah you can see how it's gone up on a, and my favorite bits of it like right, is obviously the bottom of it because you can see the thing but these edges here yeah these edges i love these edges yeah, it looks so real, you know what I mean? Because they've gone up and it's come down a little bit, but it looks like it's, you know I mean? It's slopping over the side of the of the um, riverbank. Stunning. Yeah, okay. Um, but you can see the detail on it, and, and Steve will vouch for it as well. Very, very little bubbles, if oh, any. Perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's come out really well. And, and you can see now as well perfect. why I don't, you know what I mean? I'm going to go like that. Why I don't. Um, what camera? Yeah, that one's better camera and focus then um why i don't color it yeah you can that's just paint uh, and and um algae and, and i mean some foliage that i put on there the, the color paints and you can see the, you know where it looks like deeper just purely just like by um <laughs> let me just clarify i'm not in a bromance with dave martin would be jealous if I was actually, uh, so would Sam. <laughs> you are in a bromance, pal. Shut up. Not a chance. You and Dave. Wow. You know what I mean? You can talk. <laughs> it's like co old cockle women, the pair of them. Yeah, but you can see that the colours that I've done, 
yeah, it's come out well. The muds, uh, the, the when I said that I used the, like the colours, you can see, uh, especially down here. Yeah, and I mean that bank. What I can do if I want to as well is um, I got light brown uh, mud over there. I could put a little bit of light brown mud along here and especially along here. Yeah, you know, I mean to blend that in a little bit more if I wanted to, right? Uh, yeah, Craig, you're a wanted man. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I mean, we can, we literally, uh, we, you can carry on if you want to, you know, what I mean. Well, uh, will you yeah. create ripples on the top? Yes, okay. is there? Have we got mono water here? Uh, not mono water, yeah, yeah, the clear, clear water. Actually, can you go on there's some and um, get some? Yeah. I just want to show you what it is, guys, right? It's you know, the, the 200 mil top tub, yeah, yeah, the white tub, that one. I do know where it is, man. Yeah, 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 in the kitchen, yeah. Uh, so yeah, somebody's had a question, I'll go back to that once it comes, right? But you can see that we are literally, um, it, just by colouring it, yeah. Uh, there's the tape. Okay, the tape's gone on this side. So if I can sort of show you at the camera, you can see the line there. Okay, see that line? Oh, get up a bit. Yeah, that's where the tape had stuck. And now I scraped off as much as I can, and I've got that um, uh, line. But I, I've we've got it. You can see it a little bit stronger than that. Okay, so I'm going to have to take some time just to, to sand it down. Uh, okay. Um, uh, and a rough sanding then 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 finer 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 if you want to uh, work on it or um, or just go straight to shut sight that uh, um, to fine really fine you know what I mean but level yeah there's not a bulge in it at all um, there is there was a lip on it right taking it off and again I'll show you on this side of it what we need to do on taking the lip off it uh, there might be a lot of work that I need to do on the other side because of uh, the tape sticking um, you know what I mean? So I'll try and get much done. So I've already that's why I've already prepped that side because I want to show you what you can do with a with a little tiny little bit of resin and how it pops. Yeah, okay. Okay, so somebody asked uh, about modern water. Okay. Um, and it was uh, Dave or Craig or somewhere like Craig, I think, uh, on another group was asking that they used uh, somebody else's an American based uh, company, yeah, they used it, and theirs went yellow, which I know because uh, when I tested it, I tested against that, and this came out really, really well. Um, they're, uh, they're work on it, which is our modeling, our clear modeling water. Yeah, let me get it up to that. Okay, right now, this is what you can use for it. Um, it's a cream based. If you look at it, right, it looks white, but it goes totally crystal clear. All right, okay. And then all you do is that you dip dip your uh, thing in, and then you can make your ripples like that. Yeah, I don't want to do it on this one because I've done it on a different model, right? Okay, and I th I'll um, if I don't think I've got a video of that. No, I might have. I'm not sure. I'll have to have somebody have a look through it and they might find it, right? But um, all you do with that is literally you 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 just it's. I'll just do a little bit. I can wipe it off and stuff just to show you, right? Okay, it's a thick cream, guys, right? Really quite thick cream, right? I just get a little bit on a. I use a little something like that. I normally cut it flat, yeah, you know what I mean? And then I do it over here. And then uh, whichever way your water's flowing, right? So let's say it's flowing that way. You just dab it up like that, okay? You're probably not going to see it, yeah? And there's your ripples. Now, other people can. Um, uh, sort of use that that mod podge and that type of thing again that mod podge i found out is pva based and if you don't know it by now everybody knows me that pva is a horrific stuff uh, and i mean so i would never use pva or pva based glue uh, especially on top of water yeah because that will that will definitely shrink uh, so our basing glue will do exactly the same thing so you can you've seen it that they paste it on you know what I mean um, like this with a brush um, and I've got a model and I've done it with uh, with our glue right okay on a, on a brush you get on it and then you get an airbrush and you blow the airbrush you can do it with your mouth if you want or a straw or something and you blow it so it looks like ripples yeah you know what I mean looks like a, a flowing sorry um, uh, flowing river okay but again once you start doing that you start to lose the detail on the bottom and I oof, I really, really, 
Is that what you use on the cliff diorama with the river? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anybody seen the eagle diorama? Yeah, okay. Um, that's what I used. Uh, work on Mount Clive. That's what I used on that. Yeah, and it is is the clear water to use do the ripples and stuff. Yeah, okay. And if you see when I've got the eagles pulling out the um pulling out the fish out of the water, I've used UV resin, which something I got to uh, look into and get, uh, to to get the 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 height of it. But then I've used the ripples, the round ripples, yeah, right, okay, using that stuff. Because it'll dry cl totally clear and lumpy, right, okay. Um, with this stuff as well, you can do icicles with it. You can make, uh, you can paste it onto a, uh, thinly onto a, a mirror, so or glass, yeah, and make water sheet, uh, uh, waterfall sheets, yeah. You can make, you know, I mean, and you just the design on that. I, again, I need to do a massive... I've got a, uh, a diorama somewhere that I started to get ready for a waterfall. Um, and now I'm starting to use a lot more water. I, I, I need to do a uh, I need to do a video for doing that. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, would that work for, say, water running down mountains? Not too bulky, but enough. So the issue you've got with this stuff, because it's air dry, Right, the thicker you go with it, right, the one the longer it takes to go off, right, and this is what was said on the uh, on the other group. Um, one, it take it does take a long time to go off, right, because it's air dry, right. It's an acrylic air, uh, which uh, which um, uh, it needs air to do it, the air to do it, to dry it, right. Okay, um, but also it'll skin over, okay. So it you know I mean it, it it'll dry uh, with a skin, and then inside because the air can't get to it stays white so what you need to do is literally pierce the uh we'll get a pin something like that, and pierce it yeah you know i mean just so the air can get inside to dry it off um uh, and like i said ours dries totally crystal clear yeah okay um but uh and then others others will dry yellow uh, again i i tested that and in the exactly same circumstances yeah you know I mean, at the pretty much the same time um, and obviously I was came up with crystal clear like I said it can be used for anything yeah you can use uh, it, it skate marks everything yeah it's really really good it's really good stuff to to work with uh, what we'll call it two part uh, 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 or two part water yeah okay uh, that's what the product is for right you add it on top of the water yeah because otherwise it's just you know I mean you can't if you do it on your own and too thick it would never go off and it wouldn't um, uh, it won't, it won't look right. Yeah, you know what I mean. It won't dry. It'll just be white. You know what I mean. So it's really made for thin, really, really thin. Yeah, you know what I mean. A millimeter at most. Yeah, you know what I mean. So to make it, um, uh, so it it dries uh, totally clear. Okay, but really good stuff. I'm gonna have a slurp of coffee because uh, my throat's starting to go. Uh, bottom of the river looks great resin has really made it pop yeah like I said last time so Howard thank you very much yeah what well, the reason why I don't put any colors on it because you want to see the bottom of that river yeah I put a lot of work into the river well I didn't I just sort of clucked it together right but if you do <laughs> if you guys put in a, a lot of work to the river make it pop make it look yeah like I said unless you've got a canal which is still water which you know I mean which is there anything that dies and it turns it brown you know what I mean you you and then why would you use epoxy resin, you know, I mean, sorry, epoxy water, two part of water, because it's quite expensive anyway, like, you know what I mean, right? Uh, d you, to, um, just to dye it a colour, and you know I mean, and not see through it. You want to see the detail. I mean, I could have put a little tint of green in it, maybe, or a little tint of blue, but I, I, sometimes I'm like... Oh, that, and then they use that then to they use the clear water then well, kind of to um uh, to try and hide mistakes or you, you know I mean, uh, that that type of thing like, I mean uh, Luke Towin is a is a is a class he's he really good at this yeah, you've all guys seen Luke Towin yeah to be fair to him he, he loves using that stuff I very rarely use that because I like to have mine like to be fair I think this is my fourth time of using water. And it's not the resin that's done that, right? The, you know what I mean? All the resin's done is highlighted and make, made the, the model pop, right? The rest of it is just literally, it's what I've done underneath. It's the paint colour, 
it's the you know I mean going from light to dark it's the stones that are inside of it it's the the foliage that makes it look right you know what I mean? and that's where then you can start adding it needs to be a little bit thicker than this to add fish into it right because you want to uh, add posts to them yeah okay so if i do that you want to add posts uh, out of, uh, you can do it out of out of the resin if you want to right or i used um again i used uv resin right um which i just put it on our uh, our tough paper put the posts on as long as as, as long and as thick as i could just let it go off yeah you know i mean you use the uv light to go off and then cut it to the what i needed to and then glued the fish on top of it then you glue that to the base of the of the model yeah okay um and then you've got uh you know i mean and when you pour the resin uh sorry you pour the water over it right there you don't see the resin post it could disappears yeah okay because obviously it's in um it's in with the um uh, the, the, the resin hides it okay so sorry the water hides it and then you've got fish yeah you, I've, you can see mine i've got uh the eagle diorama yeah i've got the fish actually coming out of the water you know what i mean he's dragging the water put the fish out to the water you know what i mean um i want to do a i'd love to do a salmon jump that'd be a cracker you know what i mean it's all stepped ones here you know what i mean a stepped um, river and then have salmon jumping up through it that'd be a, you know i mean that'd be great time and effort for that right you know what i mean uh, it, it's 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 crazy uh well and so we got loads of uh, we just had a delivery so we got loads of water in stock as well so just go through a few um, any tips on on any tips on pine trees yeah using our progress box and our pine tree uh armatures yeah you know there's a video on um uh, on youtube showing you how to make a pine tree boom job done yeah it's as simple as that they 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 just they're the easiest to make if you're doing uh our pine trees um uh, making the other ones there's a little look that's quite laborious yeah that's um using a skewer uh what's it called barbecue skewer um and then twisting wire around it to make it look like the branches um douglas fir type ones yeah so they go like that and then using uh six mil static grass or something like that and then you know i mean uh applicating that over which the, and then making sure that you blow down the needles you know i mean to, to show it if facing down that's one of the ways of doing it uh is that what you use for the cliff like drama uh would it work would it work i've done that one that where hasn't done that one any tips on pine trees i'm 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 back dave hello thank you very much awesome diorama can you make puddles with it yeah puddles again so we do doing puddles oh uh i would use i would do the same technique that i've done here right okay so color the base first yeah you know what i mean so make your you know i mean make the puddle and then uh, um use your acrylic paints then yeah to uh, uh to, to make the color and then pour this in uh uncolored okay right um that will um uh, that will make the the thing pop out the back you know what i mean if you want muddy puddles then obviously you add your browns into it but you know what i mean and then but again like i said it, it, you might as well you might as well paint it with varnish you know what i mean if you're going to do that because you're wasting the effect that you get with this stuff like you know what i mean so uh i'm just trying to keep up with you guys now um jess a few uh bull rushes needed alongside the river and it would look good yeah okay so um i've made bull rushes right nice and nice and easy okay so um we got a actually we're getting rid of it but scorch brown our uh, uh, our grass um, and it's on sale right now as, as it happens right so we have um rivers and reeds okay you know what i mean weeds and reeds i think it's called you'll get it right okay um and they're obviously little sticks type you know what i mean that long and then you cut them down so what to do is uh if you've got a pro grass box yeah you get uh one millimeter scorch brown you dip one end uh, of the of the uh, weeds or reeds into into a basin glue yeah um and literally thin right you don't want it thick on there right? like a blob you dip it in and then just get your finger and roll it round uh put the put the grass on top of the box yeah you know what i mean switch the box on apply the grass right and then all you do is just nip off the end 
a tiny little bit at the end, right? Because the bull rushes always get that little bit and they come out. I think I have done, there is a video of that. So I know there is a video of that. Uh, there might have been a live that I've done or uh, or a couple, but there is a video showing how to do them. They're really, really good. Right, okay. Um, they're nice work. Uh, show hands of her entry to the, the competition. Go. <laughs> how would you color the water in small spots to make the uh, so tip and waste into the river? Ooh, now, now then. Oh, well done, Cal. Now then. So, you whatever color, I mean, normally waste water sewage water what brown steve would you agree yeah brown browny color that you know i mean yeah, yeah you know I mean? waste tends to be like a light deep brown it's not a very dark brown is yeah. it? it's like a mauve yeah okay mauve yeah yeah mauve. Mauve. <laughs> <That's a nice laughs> yeah i'm not so from the valley see but so i would so this is two things i would do here now right i would mix two different pots of of um water right okay so i'd have one crystal clear like this Right, okay. Now I take it that you're talking coming out of a culvert, uh, you know, because they'll come out of a, a, a pipe. I mean, that's what they normally do with waste, isn't it, right? So I would then, um, you know, I mean, pour what the brown um, coming out of that uh, uh, tunnel. So you've got to try and, I mean, maybe even tilt that back like that, right? Move path, which was valley, man. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I mean, I pour the resin in into there, right? But I've already poured this, and then I would pour on top, right? Make sure this is still wet, right? Do 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 it all the same together. Don't forget, you've got hours to play around with this, right? You know what I mean, right? Oh, no, it's still not hours. You've got a good, I sorry, hours. You've got a good twenty, thirty minutes to play around with it, right? But I would have it. I pour the um, the uh, coloured water into the re into the clear water and then using a cocktail stick or something like that right to make sure because you're not going to have spikes onto it right but then sort of blend it in so it looks like it's running in yeah you know and into the into the water and then using uh, when it's all dry using our clear water yeah right then ripple it okay so the clear don't worry about it being clear because you'll have it um Sort of, uh, work out, it'll it'll blend in anyway, right? You know what I mean? But it'll have a different color water going into, uh, uh, going into the uh, into the river. That would look wicked. Actually, that's something I might have to do. I like that, Carl. That's a really good shout. To be honest, yeah. You know what I mean? I would pour the water, then a, a little drop of color of choice, then drag it with a cocktail stick. Oh, well, Greg, Greg's on the same page as I am. Uh, that's a really good shout. You know what I mean? That, that, I like that. That's a good one. Right, okay, uh, start mine. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Trick. So, you know, when you listen to that, you know what I mean? And then, well, he texted me, did he? So, what would I do? What would I do? So, <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> right. Uh, let's, let's work out. So, I'm going to, like I said, we've taken it off of you now. So, I'm going to take this tape off of here, right? It could be here. I'm going to Welsh now. So, I'm going to turn it around. Let's change the camera angle. The way you can see a bit better now, right? Okay. And you're going to see that. It comes off quite easy, uh, you know what I mean, off here, uh, off the board, right, okay, maybe I need to use a less tackier one, you can get one, which is, uh, I can't remember what it's called, somebody's going to say it, but it's not as tacky as uh, as normal, how would you make uh, bulrushes Ooh, of water plants, so we've got, we've got, like I said, the rivers and reeds, yeah, uh, and then using the probe box, I'm pretty sure you've got the box, Owen, you can use them out of that, yeah. You know, I mean, using the scorch brow, yeah, the scorch grass, which is on clearance now. So, if any of you want to go and get it, go and get it, right? Okay, she must end, lovely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, and then just use, uh, you know, what I mean, and then use the technique that I just said, right? You know, I mean, maybe I'll do one, uh, maybe that's something I'll do next week, actually. So, next week's. I'll tell uh, Steve, remind me of what I'm going to tell him next week, yes, I will do indeed, right? Okay, so just literally. Nice and slow, peel it off, right, okay, and it's come off, okay, but where I said where the stickiness is, it's come off on here, okay, on here, so I have to get all that off, right, which is pretty much a knife, as you can see there, yeah, you can see where it's literally stuck to the thing, right, so my mistake, yeah, all you've got to do with that, right, is, um, uh, like I said, Put a bit of, you know what I mean? Either you can either put another bit of 
a, a tape of it or a bit of paper if you want to or anything anything to stop a bit of plastic yeah anything to stop the uh, uh it sticking to the work well, coming off onto it right i mean so uh but i got a bit of work now to do so all we need to do is use i use a craft knife and to scratch it off but to start off with although we got a lip now you'll always have a lip okay right there no matter what you do because obviously the water will push out yeah and build up to the dam right so we've got to take it off right so using a craft knife and being very very careful yeah just gotta just start scraping it down yeah until you get to the to the base yeah okay right I know it looks brutal right but it is and then all you do is just just make sure that you're not going too deep yeah and just scrape it off okay nice and gentle don't be brutal with it although I am looking brutal okay yeah yeah it's almost coming down we're almost there on this side So what you can do as well, I mean, you can, what I'm doing with the Eagle Dare Armour, I'm, I'm literally haven't had time to do much of it, but I, I'm, I am um, sanding it back, yeah, uh, because it's gone uh, two years now, maybe more, three years possibly that I've done that. So I'm sanding it all back, yeah, you know what I mean, um, to, to, with fine grit paper, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, just get it nice and smooth again because I overused uh, the clear water and I you, you can't see some of the fish uh, and sometimes as well I don't know how it happens or why it happens it hasn't happened on this one like so it might be that um, I might have rushed the last time yet you know what I mean so like I was really slow in there and took my time when I did the other one I did a big uh, a big pour on it you know what I mean and I I might have rushed that and somebody would get sort of like fading points on there it's weird. I don't know what happens in it, but it hasn't happened in years. But I've got it on the on the on the eagle diorama, and you can't see some of the fish. So I'm sanding it back, and then all we're going to do, what the technique, and I'm going to show you in a bit, is just literally you pour a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit on top, and that makes it pop again. And as well, uh, cut away from you. <laughs> I'm actually, if you notice, yeah, I am. I'm doing it that way, yeah, but it's going against the diorama, so yeah, cut the way, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Honest, yeah. You always should cut away, make sure that you follow um, craft knife safety, yeah, okay, you know what I mean, don't, don't do what I'm doing, you know what I mean, but, but again, I am protecting myself because the diorama is in the way, yeah, you know what I mean, uh, but Cal's right, yeah, always cut away. Yeah. Okay, so you want to make it nice and even as best you can. Yeah, you can drag it like that if you want to as well. Don't forget, I am gonna edit this. This is where it goes through steam. So that's a nice little one as well. So there are, you can do that if you want to. Drag it away from it so it scrapes down. Nice bit of modeling noise. You like that? Actually, that is a better technique than what I was doing first. So do that, guys. Yeah, scrape it away from you. That's a nice, that's a nice technique. Nice and quick. There we are. We down to level. I'm happy with that. Yeah, and it's safer as well. So nice one, Carl. We're just give me a nice little tip there to make sure that people are safe. Are we nice and smooth? And actually, yeah, I'm done that one. And I'm done with that one. Right. Okay. So flush there. Get rid of that. Now the issue that I've got obviously is this bloody stuff that's stuck to that there, you know what I mean? That that's gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and scrape that off. You could sand it off, yeah, you've been there for hours. <laughs> Especially the sandpaper I got, it's grit grit 1200 I got there, right? You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna put me a scraping blade and stuff, that that, that may be good. Actually, I'll go for it. So uh the next stage that you do, right, to get this crystal cl crystal clear, yeah, you know what I mean, is using, uh, oh, where's the camera, yeah, grit 1200 wet and dry I use, right, and I've cut myself a little sanding block, right, okay, um, all you guys know, you all know what to sand, you're all modelers, right, so you know this bit, but again, and I, I'm just showing you that, you know what I mean, we can be brute over this, right, you know what I mean, don't be, don't be shy to use it, so grip an area, yeah, nice and flat, and just sand it. 
Yeah, I'm going to be a wild one this because obviously I've got this tape to try and get rid of it. I mean, and I'm not being as harsh on there. I'm just going to do that edge. Yeah, that edge is coming up quite nice. Yeah, just go side to side. Keep sanding it until it comes off. I'm going to have to do a lot more work with the paper uh, in a minute. I, I'm going to have to do this probably off camera, like, let me bring this to you, show you. I can show you what the, the, the technique I'm going to do on the other side anyway, so don't worry about that. Yeah, in a minute. But I need to get this paper off. I wet it. It'll come up a bit better. Yeah, a little bit of there. Lumpy. Actually, it's almost gone, but then, to be honest. Okay, so um, again, hold it, get in there. Anyway, you can see, you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll finish this off camera. This bit, right? But you can see what I'm trying to do. Just literally sand it back as best you can. Like, you know, I mean, to make it look uh, um, uh, to get as clear. Right? So you get as clear. Uh, that's all you have in about for. <laughs> no, not. Yeah, no, shut up. He's yeah, in the corner. You can see there that I've just literally sanded it back. I have got a few marks on there, right? Okay. You know, I mean, again, that's where the tape, but uh, my, my mistake of the mistake of the tape. Okay, right. But literally, you know, I mean, that's what you do. You sand it back. It's quite nice and nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay. To the edge. And just the final. Final sand. I'm hoping that the, the resin will fill that in and it'll come work out. So what we should do is when you look at it down there, you should be able to see through it. Yeah, it should be as crystal clear as it is on top. Okay, All right. Any questions at the moment? Craft safe craft knife safety. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well I showed you now to scrape away. Yeah, scrape away is a lot better, yeah. There is a resin cast tip you can purchase. Another what Dave Martin said on that, so maybe I need to have a look at that. How would you make right have done that? Uh, I mean, exactly the same. I can't talk. Yeah, I, yeah, like, you know, I mean, when you do it, it I should remember we're doing it on you. Yeah, you know, what I mean, so make sure that you scrape, use the edge of the knife, which I literally just found that technique now, yeah, you know, what I mean, um, and push away from you, right? And you can take your time, nice and gentle. You haven't got to go dig right in. Nice and gentle. Scrape away. You can see that it's coming off, yeah? Okay? In bits. Okay, and then as long as you can't feel that lip. Yeah, I've got a little bit of lip. So we'll just do a little bit more. Yeah, just scrape away. Nice and gentle. And you're nice and safe because you're scraping away from yourself. So ignore the first part. <laughs> That's what not to do. There we are. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously we've got, uh, we've done what we need to do. So next stage, uh, what have we got? We've got 10 minutes, right? Next stage is to, you, all you're going to do now, right, is a tiny amount. You, know, you don't need a lot, right? And I might use this in, on something else that i got. Right? Okay, so when I use a weighing scales again, a lot of people said all they done was uh, mark like one cup, that, I mean, half one and one cup. A quarter full or whatever it is, right? You can do that. I use a scale because I've got I've got use for a scale. I, I got use for a scale. Get rid of that. I got grass in it. Funny that we've got, we've got grass in my cup. I wonder where that came from. Yeah, and I'm literally I'm gonna put like two grams to one gram. I I I need a tiny bit. Yeah, that's one gram. There we are, there's two, oh no, tiny bit, there we are, we've got two grams there, and then all we're going to add is a gram, you know what I mean, a tiny bit guys, tiny bit, right, okay, and then all we need now is to make it through three grams, oh, come on, 
you just know I'm going to go to four grams. Come on! Oh, this is go up in twos. Yeah, three grams. Quick, take it off the skills. <laughs> yeah, he hit it three grams. There we are, you can see. No, no, don't look at that. It's four grams, I said then. <laughs> right, okay, and then don't panic. Uh, you've got plenty of time to mix it, but you, you, you know what I mean? You need to mix it in well. You wrote, it's only a tiny, tiny bit anyway, right? Okay. And you haven't got to worry about um, bubbles in this one, right? Okay, so grass in the cup is okay, but not okay. Oh, I got. That's why I got a sealed mug, uh, because I'm sick and tired of, of drinking and eating grass. Actually, there's some grass on the top now, it's just what I drink. Uh, yeah. Okay, so just literally mix it up. Yeah. Just get it uh, a, a good, a, give it a good mix. Make sure all of the hardness mixed in, like I said. I mean, last time I was, what, a good 10 minutes. There's some of you guys watching, like, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, I hope you're enjoying. Yeah, put the comments on if you are, and do the likes, and do the do all the, the social things, and make a comment, and all that, blah, 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 that type of thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, share it out amongst you other uh, other groups if you want to as well, that type of thing. I uh, hope you're learning something. You know, I mean, let me know if you have. You know, I mean, if it's something that is an eureka moment or it gives you the confidence to use. Um, if you need any help, give me a message on the group or you know, I mean, or phone up. Yeah, one of the guys will, uh, will happily help you. Um, we've got a technical line which uh, goes through to Steve. Yeah, he knows everything. Uh, Ma and that mug looks purple. No, the mug is not purple. There's no pur Oh, yeah, that actually, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's purple. It is purple. Yeah, it's purple. It's purple, that one. Show my mug. Uh, it's uh, uh, Steve's mug. Yeah, because he is a mug. Like, right, we got it. Look, like, right? Just to show. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me know. Steve's mug. Metal. There's a reason why it's metal. A reason. Yeah? Calamity Jane. That's all I'm saying. Yeah? Okay? Calamity Jane. Uh, am I on? What am I on that one? Oh, that one. I can't remember what I'm on. Yeah, that's what it is. But purple mug, yeah. Oh, Martin. Got to ask one. now, Swansea, yeah. uh, FC. Oh, right, oh, well, man. none of them. <laughs> Absolutely none of them. I am an Osprey supporter. I used to be a junior coach. Yeah, I played basic rugby. Right? I was a crap rugby player. Terrible. Yeah. So those who can't teach. Yeah. So yeah. You know what I mean? I am a I am a full on Ospreys and rugby supporter. Uh, although you know what I mean, Welsh rugby is in a hell of a state. So, but we won't go into that. But it would be a it would definitely be Swansea. Yeah, the Jacks. Not no. They're not Cardiff. They boil people's heads in Cardiff. So. <laughs> Uh, Martin Rob is creating a uh, disused line with a rusty logo. Uh, what weather and products and grasses would we got? Okay, so, uh, oh, Craig can answer you this one, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, and Tim, uh, Tim, um, Tim the weathering man, the you know what I mean? I, well, I can't remember his, his, his YouTube we used to have, or still got. Jace, you know, Tim, Tim won the competition when me, Sam, and Guion and Tim was there. Yeah, uh, our weather and powders, right, are, um, are the best on the market, without shadow of a doubt. I don't think any, anybody's used them, right, you know what I mean? Uh, they were definitely, they are phenomenal, right, because they are so forgiving. If you make a mistake, yeah, okay, just a little bit of IPA, right, wash it back down, and then sometimes that makes it look better, yeah, and then you can reapply. And then all you do then is a little bit of... Um, uh, matte varnish yeah to seal them on but it does change the color a little bit because they pigment base so you've got to be careful of we just do a little test right the other thing that uh, we are working on i am going to be going out uh, out to europe uh, to speak to people out there to to um, to develop a, a a sealant for it 
right okay um uh, Tim Cooper that's the one yeah scrap line there we are Tim he's probably not watching but he's made a comeback recently as well like, you know what I mean so um but yeah our weather and powders right and we, we've got a metallic I think we're the only one that's got a metallic as well right you know what I mean yeah. so you put that metallic on and then you put the rusters on brilliantly yeah you can put them down the drain I've got actually uh, I've done weather a local but I have weathered a uh, uh, tracks okay and there is a series on the YouTube to show you how to do that right okay so um stay tuned have a look at that that's a good one okay um so yeah that that's uh well i've been for 15 years now so yeah you know what i mean so great uh what am i going down to? i'm gonna call it uh martin is creating the tissue uh, does he keep smashing the mouse last time i'm a jack ah yes upper jacks <laughs> upper jacks <laughs> Uh, you've come to the dark side, yeah. Welsh rugby doing uh, the pits and two hours there. Yeah, well, no, I haven't been that bad lately, but it's just money in it, budgets. If you look at, oh, I was meant to say, Steve, uh, Leinster. I'm talking rugby now, so I do apologise, but oh, I, I, I'm a rugby fan. Leinster have just signed um, one of the Barrett brothers. Yeah, you know what I mean? I think Brodie Barrett is going there, or one of the or Barrett brothers, like, you know what I mean? And we can barely sign a youngster, you know what I mean? So the budgets, uh, you know, we've got four million pound for, for a region. You know what I mean? That should be just for a club. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, but it, it, it's, work, it's there. Right, uh, that means you're going to attempt Rob to spend money on weather in front of well, you know what I mean? It's, uh, the, the products are there. They're, they're really good. They're really forgiving. Have a watch the videos to see if you like it. You know what I mean? But I always say to people... The our weather and powders are so forgiving. That's why they're so good. Yeah, you know what I mean. They, you can it, they, you can use them, but if you don't like it, you can wash it off. And then sometimes washing that off tends to make it look good. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Uh, gotta get back to work. Uh, thanks, Jay. Uh, SG. What's uh, SG? Before you go, what's your name, bud? So I'm not calling you SG. I did say before. I can't remember. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining. In. Thanks for joining. Right, okay, so that's mixed up enough now, right? So all you want, right, is a tiny little bit on your spatula. Okay, right, Steve's looking at this as well. Oh, no, no I'm going to get my cup of tea. Cup, he's getting his cup of tea. Right, okay, so are you going now? No. Oh. And then literally paste it on. Oh, right, so I don't know if you're going to see it, right, but Steve will see it. Look at that difference now, right? I've done half and half, right? So I'm going to change the, mind, the camera angle. Not me. There. Is that the one? Yeah. You might not be able to see half and half. So I've done that edge there. Yeah. You can clearly see the difference, can you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? You know what I mean? You can see it coming through. Yeah. Right, guys? Okay, trust me. It does work, right? It's Simon for... Well, excellent. Thanks, so, Simon. So, yeah, I'm just literally... I mean, you can brush it on if you want to. Oh, I've done the trick on that water cutter as well. Um, I'm trying to see if... Let me get a different camera angle. Um... There. Okay, it's got that line that I was worried about has gone, right? But you can, it's gone. The, 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 you know, what I mean the the sanding marks, everything is gone. You know, what I mean. So I'm gonna put on the edge as well, so it blends in a bit more, right? Okay, but it's gone. Okay, and all you do is just paste it on. Don't worry about it running down on. Well, you, you know, I mean, you, you're not. If you haven't got edges, you're fine. You haven't got to worry about it, right? Okay. Right, but if you've got, uh, if you have got an edge like I have, right, okay, this, you know what I mean, just blend that in, because I'm going to paint this black anyway, right, to make this look pop. But let's see if you guys, if I can get it up in that camera, yeah. Can you see that? You can now see through, see it? It's sort of gone same as that, right? Okay, so where you go from from that, and you can see the tape on there that I got to do the work. Yeah, if you go to that, yeah, look, hang, hang on, my freaking camera. Where am I going? There. <laughs> yeah, see it? See how it's gone from that, that one color to, you know what I mean, to a non see through opaque to, to now a, you know what I mean, crystal clear. And you can see through, you can see that rock there, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, that is wicked. I'm well happy with that. And again, you've got to leave that dry now for over the um, over the next coming days. Uh, over the, oh, sorry, that'll dry within within minutes. Like, you know what I mean? So, no, sorry, sorry, it won't. It'll dry. It'll will take another day to dry, right? Okay, because obviously it'll get tacky and stuff. 
Chase, can you message me that one, please, uh, as on Rob's phone? Uh, mine's not sorted. Okay, yeah. I thought that was Rob on the... Right. Sorry, guys, I can see you talking. Right, okay, I'm going to go back to me. Okay, because we literally, that hour has flown. And it's Steve, yeah? Absolutely. Has flown, right? Love as it. usual, love it. Yeah, okay. Um, it's as simple as that. Yeah, take the dam off. Sand it back, yeah. Take away the edge, make sure you cut away from the edge, or scrape the edge over the top and cut away. So, thanks for Cal for that. And make sure you've got craft knife safety, yeah. Okay, don't do what I did right at the beginning, okay. Um, literally scrape it away just so it's nice and flat. And the edge is gone there now, right? And I can see that it's gone. Um, and then mix a tiny, tiny bit. I, I use three grams of, of water, yeah, you know what I mean. Just literally, just to uh, what I could to revigorate that uh, um, that edge that you've sanded back. I look at the angle I'm looking at now. You can, you, it's seamless, absolutely seamless. Yeah, and you can see through it. It's stunning. Looks stunning, right? Um, like I said, with that shows. Yeah, that's never been it. It's been an hour, Cal. I know, what I mean, it's mad. With that shows, so I'll take this diorama with the, to me as shows. Uh, Jason might see you in um, in Stafford. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know where anybody's going to the new show in the NEC. Uh, we're excited about that one because it's a modern show, which is perfect for us because we're uh, you know what I mean we're um, we're not a a, a, a railway guy a railway um, uh, company. We are scenery, yeah, landscape, and that type of thing. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you need any questions, anything, any anything answers, please don't forget. Get older me, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm gladly uh, anybody knows knows me. I'm I spend my time waffling, bull BS anyway. Like, you know what I mean, so I'm sure I can help you. Yeah, you know, what I mean, uh, great job. Sometimes the only th uh, uh, thrill left in life is a risk of paper cut. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, mate. Yeah, you know, what I mean, um, yeah. It, follow the tips. Don't be afraid of it. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm at the NEC. Yeah, coming over then. What? Uh, on the railways, Jake. Coming over, mate. Come and say say hello. Right, just say that I'm Jake from the from the YouTube. Bring you uh, cash. Uh, I'll bring <laughs> bring you cash. I'll bring. Um, uh, I'll make sure that the models are with me then. Right, to make sure that it's there. Uh, Craig, I'm a cracking all day, mate. I'm, I'll talk to you later. Anyway, we know that without that shadow of a doubt. Thanks for another great session. Yeah, Bry, always a pleasure for having you on there, mate. You know what I mean? And I'm streaming, streaming over to Australia. Yeah, so we are multinational, worldwide people. Like, you know, we mate. are partly like the Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know, we always beat Australia as well, so yeah. you're always welcome. So. <laughs> oh, I shut my mouth sometimes. Yeah, you know what I mean? uh, yeah great. Thanks, guys. Right, um, have a lovely time. Yeah, um, thank you stay all. safe. Th oh, thanks from Steve. Yeah. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.